I, as you saw in the film, I managed to avoid the, uh, must have been a really bad accident uh, right there on alternate 95 at the cutoff. <laughs> well, I am on alt 95 and you know it's a main highway. So anyway, I mentioned on the Dayton stop about Fort Churchill. Well, first of all, this is uh, uh, the Carson River. I'm on alternate US 95. And I, I didn't quite remember right that that Fort Churchill is just off of alternate US 95. The turnoff is right up the way here. And I was accurate, not the sun, you know. I was accurate when I remembered the Buckland House. It's actually Buckland Station. So I'm gonna, it's a state park. And one of the docents uh, or the rangers kind of walked out. We chatted a bit. I'm, they're open. It, it's a museum, I guess. But I'm, I, I don't have it in me today. Uh, so I'm gonna go read the sign. I, uh, you saw that I, uh, me and some of the locals have found the dirt road to avoid the accident. So anyway, I'm gonna read the sign. Hold on just a sec. Samuel Buckland settled here in 1859, ranched, established a station for the Overland Stage, and operated a tent hotel. He also constructed the first bridge across the Carson River near Genoa. In 1860, Sam built a large log cabin and married Eliza Prentice. In the same year, Buckland Station, we have it right here, was the assembly point for the um, for the colonizers that took part in the uh, Pyramid Lake uh, 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 battles with the indigenous. Um, Buckland's was also a remounting station on the Pony Express. In 1864, he opened up a store, sold goods. Uh, also sold uh, to the troops over here at Fort Churchill. He, uh, oh, dude. When the fort was uh, uh, dismantled, he uh, managed to obtain some of the materials. Him and his family are buried over here at Fort Churchill. I'm going to go there another day. I'm pretty much done here, and we're pressing on to see what's next. Our next stop finds us at the Fort Churchill. Fort Churchill Ruins. This used to be a, a fort in the Civil War, though no man battle was really fought out here. But the uh, but the Pony Express came through here, and troops were here to protect the settlers or invaders, depending on your point of view, from the natives. So here are some of the ruins that are left. It's about 20 to 3. I thought we were going to go up to Virginia City, but we might, we might not make it today. This is a 36 star flag commemorating Nevada's in Inclusion into the Union in 1864. And over here on the wall, we've got President Lincoln, who was the President, Brigadier General Sylvester Churchill, who the fort was named after, along with Churchill County, and he was Inspector General of the Army. And then James W. Nye was Nevada's only territorial governor, and he is who Nye, Nye County is named after. So here's your Nevada history for today. Are you taking a picture of me? Yes. Here's the cemetery. According to the sign, the soldiers' bodies were dug up and reinterred in Carson City, but the Buckland family had purchased some of the land out here, and that's who's buried in the cemetery now. 
So it's about three o'clock and we're gonna, gonna go for a little drive on th through the ruins and we'll see what's next. I've got eight minutes left to bore you. <laughs> Our next stop finds us on the Dayton Fort Churchill Road, which parallels the Carson River. And you can see how on the left side of the road, it's a uh, sagebrush and, well, barren, I guess. And then on the right side of the road, it's a lot more lush and fertile, because that's where the river is. This uh, dirt road is about 15 miles long from Fort Churchill to just outside of Dayton. And in fact, if we keep on going on the same road, it turns into a six mile road and takes us all the way to Virginia City. It's about 20 after 3, so I'm not sure we're going we're gonna to have time to do Virginia City justice today. But it's not going anywhere. It's a beautiful day. It's about 91 or 92 degrees. So we'll see what's next. You could really see the difference in the 10 years in technology in handheld video cameras. Uh, I was using a Sony and a Canon, and now I'm using the GoPro, which has incredible vibration dampening, re records at a much higher definition, all in all, a better camera, and bluntly, my cinemata cinematography has vastly improved in 10 years. So, there you go. Our next stop of the day finds us in Wabuska in Lyon County, Nevada. I don't know enough about it and I'm going to have to look it up and kind of dub it in or text it in. <coughs> but Wabuska was a railroad stop when the SP, uh, this is an old hotel, you can see the room sign. Um, when SP extended their line down here, I believe all the way to Mina, which I'm gonna probably get to on Friday. So here's, uh, now it's Union Pacific. Um, I think I have an old uh, picture to pip in here, I'm not sure, but there is history here to Wabuska. There is a historical marker across the street. I'll walk over and have a look. Looks like Wabuska was founded in the 1870s as a stage stop on the freight road from Wadsworth, where the Central Pacific was, to the mining camps at Aurora, Bodie, Candelaria, etc. In 1881, this was the principal Mason Valley Supply and Distribution Center on the newly constructed narrow gauge Carson and Colorado Railroad. SP bought the railroad standard gauge at the beginning of the 20th century. Total paw and gold field mining booms increased freight and passenger traffic. When copper was the found out here, it was the northern terminus of the Nevada Copper Belt Railroad and Wabuska declined when the mining had declined a hundred years ago. Here's your Wabuska story. Our next stop will be in Urington and we'll see what's next.
our next stop of the day is you just saw the road footage of me of us uh, me uh, driving through uh, Urington. I'm at the Lyon County Courthouse in Urington, Nevada. As I pan here, um, you recall that the uh, Lyon County Courthouse used to be in Dayton. I've got film of me there from October that I'll probably either pip a picture or something in. Um, I don't quite recall when, when the courthouse moved, but I'll pip it in. So I wanted to film this. A little bit of Lyon County, couple of casinos. Um, we're going to continue on alternate 95. Our destination remains Hawthorne, where we're staying for two days, uh, two nights. So we'll see what's next. This McDonald's was a big deal when it opened. Notice how the uh, tractor trailer and the car have pulled out the path, and now suddenly th 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 the van's gonna move lanes too, because this guy in the uh, in the escape wants to make a left-hand turn. You know what do you do? But you're <laughs> you're stopped in traffic on a high-speed rural two-lane road, and it's just a serious accident waiting to happen. Our next stop about one o'clock in the afternoon finds us uh, at Walker Lake in Mineral County, Nevada, just outside of Hawthorne. The Walker River runs into Walker Lake. Nothing runs out of Walker Lake, so the size of Walker Lake varies depending on the precipitation. There's a lot of precipitation this last winter and the lake looks uh, pretty full. You can see that I'm at, a, I'm at a campground. I had to stop and use the pit toilets. They were clean and there was toilet paper, though I usually bring my own in just to make sure. There are the scenic pit toilets. So I've got the address plugged in. I uh, put the rear camera back up. It's a shame because there was a truck to tailgate me at 75. It's like, dude, uh, anyway, uh, let me sit down. Woo! Okay. My wife texted me. We have a regular person back. She was out the last uh, two or three days. So life is good for her. Life is good for me. I'm going to be there in about uh, 20 minutes, maybe. I'm going to probably, I'm going to see if I can check in. I'll see what I'm going to do when I get there, and we'll see what's next. I'm going to wrap this up here with uh, this shot. I wasn't able to check in until 3.30. 
a little bit of struggle at the desk. This is uh, Life with Yosef, your host, Joe, as always. Thank you for watching another one of my travel vlogs. This uh, spe specific series on Northern Nevada, July 23. Enjoy your day. Peace be with you. And we'll certainly see you for the next one.